Hi guys, today I'm going to show you what's coming up with the next release of Dash Pro Racing. I'm going to start the listener and I'm going to go to build edit dashboard section. Now as you can see here, there are two new buttons, show my widgets and create my widgets. And I'm going to show you how to create your own customized widgets. Click on the button. And here on the left, you can see uh, different types of information. These are coming from the games, of course. And uh, basically, this is all the data that I am reading from the games. Now for this example, let's create a uh, sectors widget. I click on the first sector time and the screen here is section is created, which is the container of the widget. And up here, you can see many different options we can apply to the different widgets. Now let's start by adding sector 1, sector 2 and sector 3. If you highlight on the element you can see what it is. So this is 3, this is 2 and this is 1. Now here you'll see a small icon which is a S. If it's blue it means it's selected. So if I flip through them you can tell which one is selected because these options here they are applied to the selected element you can also close it from here if you don't want something just close it like that and I can add it back of course now let's create <coughs> the labels so I want sector 1 Sector 2, and I want Sector 3. Now, as you can see here, we can change the font size. So let's say I make it 20. I can change the font. I don't know, I'm just gonna pick up one. Whatever, a lot of bold, for example. And I'm gonna set the other ones the same. 20. And the same as this one. You can also uh, add padding so if you look here if you want it to move a bit to the right you can increase the padding and these are um, left top right and bottom so i'm going to remove the padding and you can change the properties by clicking on the buttons or just by typing here as well is the border width for example I'm gonna set it to one and this would be the border radius the bigger it is the more circular as you can see here I'm just gonna set it to one as well or let's say to whatever I can change the foreground color so let's say I want it green just copy for these two now let's uh, set the amounts uh, let's say 40 or maybe 50 
it's always best to to leave the borders here so that you know exactly where to grab and what you're moving around and then just remove the borders at the end by setting the border to zero like that but for now we're going to leave the borders so this one was 50 so we'll set these 50 as well to align them a bit and this one it shouldn't be too hard and I can also apply a, a background image so if you go to Google and type whatever you want find an image you like let's say this one carbon fiber view image just copy the URL and of course you can upload your own images online and just use them and there you go you have your image as a background as well you can also apply images to the particular elements as well so all, all of these they take an image you can of course <coughs> change the background colors and here the opacity so if you can see the lower it is the more transparent the higher no no let's say like this I'm just inventing okay and then you can copy the same For the other ones to save some time and now I think I'm gonna remove the borders this font is a bit thin so let's choose something else something thicker oh no what's this Kudarana looks ugly I don't know much about fonts to be honest Ah, whatever, just choose this one. Hollywood. Or whatever it is. Hollywood. Okay, now I want to remove the borders. So I go one by one. <coughs> remove borders. And there I have my first widget. I save it. Save. Now I close this screen here. I have my new widget there. And to delete a widget, you right click and press delete. This is, for example, one of my previous tests. So I right click here, delete. Are you sure? Yes, and it's gone. Okay, so now I'm gonna choose a background. I can choose an existing background, or I can upload an image from your computer. I'm gonna resize the screen to whatever I want. You can use a preset, of course, from here. And Let's say I want to add some other widgets that we have from the default ones. I don't know, uh, best lap, current lap, and previous lap. And I want to uh, add a flag, my gear, speed, I don't know, fuel whatever so I just put the stop there wherever I want
want to get my flag and I'm going to save it whatever you want my widget you can select this to auto fit in your screen so let's say you're going to use this in different devices mobiles or tablets if this is on it will auto resize and of course you can change the foreground and background colors and stuff like that but this example is to show this custom widget so I'm gonna save it exit and it's in my current widget there you go simple as that I can scroll to the next widgets these are the custom widgets I have previous can go back from here and uh, that will be it thank you for watching